Visible Light Communication VLC is a data communications variant which uses visible light between 400 and 800 terahertz, 780 to 375 nanometers. VLC is a subset of optical wireless communications technologies. The technology uses fluorescent lamps, ordinary lamps, not special communications devices, to transmit signals at 10 kilobits per second or LEDs for up to 500 megabits per second over short distances. Systems such as RONJA can transmit at full ethernet speed, 10 megabits per second over distances of 1 to 2 kilometers, 0.6 to 1.2 miles. Specially designed electronic devices generally containing a photodiode receive signals from light sources, although in some cases a cell phone camera or a digital camera will be sufficient. The image sensor used in these devices is in fact an array of photodiodes pixels, and in some applications its use may be preferred over a single photodiode. Such a sensor may provide either multi-channel down to one pixel equals one channel or a spatial awareness of multiple light sources, VLC can be used as a communications medium for ubiquitous computing, because light-producing devices such as indoor-outdoor lamps, TVs, traffic signs, commercial displays and car headlights, taillights are used everywhere. Using visible light is also less dangerous for high-power applications because humans can perceive it and act to protect their eyes from damage. Equals. Topic History Equals The history of visible light communications VLC dates back to the 1880s in Washington, D.C. when the Scottish-born scientist Alexander Graham Bell invented the photophone, which transmitted speech on modulated sunlight over several hundred meters. This pre-dates the transmission of speech by radio. More recent work began in 2003 at Nakagawa Laboratory, in Keio University, Japan, using LEDs to transmit data by visible light. Since then there have been numerous research activities focused on VLC. In 2006, researchers from CICTR at Penn State proposed a combination of power line communication PLC, and white light LED to provide broadband access for indoor applications. This research suggested that VLC could be deployed as a perfect last mile solution in the future. In January 2010 a team of researchers from Siemens and Fraunhofer Institute for Telecommunications, Heinrich Hertz Institute in Berlin demonstrated transmission at 500 megabits per second with a white LED over a distance of 5 meters 16 feet, and 100 megabits per second over longer distance using 5 LEDs. The VLC standardization process is conducted within the IEEE 802.15.7 working group. In December 2010 St. Cloud, Minnesota, signed a contract with LVX Minnesota and became the first to commercially deploy this technology. In July 2011 a presentation at TED Global, gave a live demonstration of high-definition video being transmitted from a standard LED lamp, and proposed the term Li-Fi to refer to a subset of VLC technology. Recently, VLC-based indoor positioning systems have become an attractive topic. Abbey Research forecasts that it could be a key solution to unlocking the $5 billion indoor location market. Publications have been coming from Nakagawa Laboratory. Bike Light filed a patent on a light positioning system using LED digital pulse recognition in March 2012. Cower at Penn State and other researchers around the world. Another recent application is in the world of toys, thanks to cost efficient and low complexity implementation, which only requires one microcontroller and one LED as optical front end. VLCs can be used for providing security. They are especially useful in body sensor networks and personal area networks. Recently organic LEDs OLED have been used as optical transceivers to build up VLC communication links up to 10 megabits per second. In October 2014, Axertec launched a commercial bidirectional RGB LED VLC system called Momo that transmits down and up at speeds of 300 megabits per second and with a range of 25 feet. In May 2015, Philips collaborated with supermarket company Carrefour to deliver VLC location-based services to shoppers' smartphones in a hypermarket in Lille, France. 
In June 2015, two Chinese companies, Quangqi and Ping and Bank, partnered to introduce a payment card that communicates information through a unique visible light. In March 2017, Philips set up the first VLC location-based services to shoppers' smartphones in Germany. The installation was presented at Euroshop in Dusseldorf March 5 as first supermarket in Germany and Edeka supermarket in Dusseldorf Bilk is using the system, which offers a 30 cm positioning accuracy can be achieved, which meets the special demands in food retail. Indoor positioning systems based on VLC can be used in places such as hospitals, elder care homes, warehouses, and large, open offices to locate people and control indoor robotic vehicles. There is wireless network that for data transmission uses visible light, and does not use intensity modulation of optical sources. The idea is to use vibration generator instead of optical sources for data transmission. Topic. Color shift keying Color shift keying CSK, outlined in IEEE 802.15.7, is an intensity modulation-based modulation scheme for VLC. CSK is intensity-based, as the modulated signal takes on an instantaneous color equal to the physical sum of three red, green, blue LED instantaneous intensities. This modulated signal jumps instantaneously, from symbol to symbol, across different visible colors, hence, CSK can be construed as a form of frequency shifting. However, this instantaneous variation in the transmitted color is not to be humanly perceptible, because of the limited temporal sensitivity in the human vision. The critical flicker fusion threshold, CFF, and the critical color fusion threshold, CCF, both of which cannot resolve temporal changes shorter than 0.01 second. The LEDs transmissions are, therefore, preset to time average over the CFF and the CCF to a specific time constant color. Humans can thus perceive only this preset color that seems constant over time, but cannot perceive the instantaneous color that varies rapidly in time. In other words, CSK transmission maintains a constant time averaged luminous flux, even as its symbol sequence varies rapidly in chromaticity. Topic. See also Electric beacon Fiber optic communication Free space optics Free space optical communication Indoor positioning system IRDA – same principle as VLC but uses infrared light instead of visible light Li-Fi Optical wireless communications RONJA <laughs>